Hi guys, in this video we'll be solving a trigonometric equation and specifically we'll be looking at this one. Let's get right to it. 2 sine of x is equals to negative 3 sine of 2x. First we need to check the range of x we are required to solve for and in this particular case the range of theta, let's just note that down, theta is from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. If we do not check our range then we will have an infinite number of answers. So let's get to the question. 2 sine x is equals to negative 3 sine 2x. The first thing to do here will be to change 3 sine 2x using our double angle formula. So the double angle formula will be sine of 2x is equals to 2 sine x cosine x. This is the double angle formula. We just have to apply this into this equation so that we can get an equation in terms of sine x. This will be 2 sine x is now equals to negative 3. In the bracket, we have 2 sine of x cosine of x. And now we can eliminate 2 on both sides of the equation by dividing it with 2. And so 2 will be eliminated. Now it would be tempting here to divide the whole equation with sine x as well. So what, this is the wrong method. Let me show you the wrong method first. The wrong method is to divide by sine x and so you eliminate sine x and sine x too. But this is not right because essentially what you're doing is you are eliminating one of the solutions. Whenever you have anything in terms of x, we do not eliminate it from the equation. Instead, what we should do is we should factorize it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And so we bring all the terms to one side. Let's choose the left side. And therefore, sine of x, this is negative 3 multiplied into sine x cos x. So this will be plus 3 sine of x cosine of x equals to 0. And now we can factorize. Once again, it's very tempting to divide by sine of x. But if you divide by sine of x, you are eliminating some of the solutions. I will show you what that means later at the end. So here, let's factorize sine of x. Sine of x factorized, what's left is 1 plus 3 cosine of x and this is equals to 0. And now since we have the form a times b equals to 0, therefore either a is 0 or b is 0. Let's start with a is 0, sine x is 0, sine of x is equals to 0. So the solution of x here is, this will be 0 degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees within the range of 0 to 360. So these are the values that will give us a sine 0 will be 0, sine 180 will be 0, sine 360 will be 0. So these are our three solutions. Now earlier, if we had divided the whole equation by sine of x, then we would lose these three solutions. These three solutions will be missed. And therefore, we should never divide the equation with anything containing the x. Now let's go to the other solution. So this is the one case or the second case could be 1 plus 3 cosine of x is equals to 0. So this is a standard uh, solution when it comes to factors here. This multiplied by this is equals to 0 which means either this is 0 or this is 0. And now we can work this out. So cosine of x will be equals to negative 1 minus 1 on both sides and then divide by 3 on both sides, negative 1 over 3. So from here, the first thing we need to do is to find our alpha. Whenever we are solving trigonometric functions, we need to find alpha first. Alpha here would be inverse cos or arc cos of 1 over 3. Ignore the negative first. The sign is to tell us in which quadrant it belongs. This value, the magnitude will tell us the alpha value. And this is equals to, just use your calculator. So when you're using your calculator, you pressed shift, this shift, and then you press cosine. Because we are doing inverse cos, you press shift cos, and then you get this. And then you do 1 over 3. So 1 over 3. And you'll get your answer. Alpha is 70.5 degrees. So once we have alpha, this is 70.5 degrees. Now we make use of the sine. So the sine here is negative. If cos of x is negative, if cosine of x is negative, 
let's draw our quadrants sketch our quadrants so this is quadrant one two three and four if cosine of x is negative that means x lies in remember add sugar to coffee add let's use a darker color add sugar to coffee so when cosine of x is negative it has to be in quadrant 2 or quadrant 3 because in quadrant 1 all are positive cosine sine and tangent all are positive whereas for quadrant 4 cosine is positive so the only place where it's negative is 2 and 3 so that means this is our angle this will be alpha and this will be alpha now we're not interested in alpha here what we want to find is theta the value of theta that satisfies cos of x is equals negative 1 over 3 so basically in this case we're finding x and for the second quadrant x will always we always start from here the positive x-axis so this is x for the second quadrant and therefore x is equals to this value of x will be equals to 180 degrees minus alpha which is 70.5 and so the answer that we get here will be 109.5 degrees another x will be so we're going to go from here all the way over to here this is also x so this value of x will be equals to 180 degrees plus alpha which is 70.5 degrees and our answer here is 250.5 degrees. And so these are the values of x that satisfy cos of x is equal to negative 1 over 3. And so what is the value of x? So x has five possible solutions here. x is either equals to 0, 109.5 degrees, 180 degrees, 250.5 degrees, or 360 degrees all these values of x will satisfy our original equation 2 sine of x is equal to negative 3 sine 2x essentially what we've done is we have combined the first values here with the values that we got here and these are all the solutions of x you can test it out with your calculator if you're not sure just key in these values of the x into the equation and you must get left hand side equals to right hand side. Then you know that your answer is correct. If you've gotten any value from this video, please do me a favor guys and hit that like button. Thank you very much for doing that. It's just a very small thing to do but it really does help the channel grow. And if you guys enjoy videos like this, do subscribe because I'll be producing at least one a week. I'll see you guys in the next video.